welcome to Zach 3 TV. Today we're doing Las Vegas for Smos. Uh, I believe this is race five. Could be mistaken. Last race is Pocono. Winner was Thunder 24 fan in the 83 for SB1 racing. Quite a few cars did not finish last week, um, but fortunately he was able to come out and finish uh, that race. So it's interesting. He's currently fifth in standings now with that. And we got our pulse sitter, Ian Stiles, who won at New Hampshire last season for Wild Wolf Motorsports. Then, uh, uh, I believe it was the winner from uh, Old Spice, 51, and Brock Nelson starting third. Currently second in points. 16 back from Exo, who's gotten a top five in every race, or actually not a top five, but a top ten every race this season. As I said last week, he somehow managed to choke an easy top five last week. Expect there only be 13 cars in contention for it, uh, so that's a bummer. But regardless, still running. I'm gonna try to keep that top five, top ten streak going. Uh, only car right now, I believe, in this field. Uh, four races into the season with a top ten, all of them. So currently, the points that are with that, and uh, got 16 point gap between them. Brock Nelson and Craig Pockers is the next car in third standings. We'll get to him a little later. As we said, uh, Ian Styles starting poll first. Uh, first time he's, I know he won New Hampshire last season. I'm not sure how many polls he got last year, but something to take note of. At uh, 41 laps for this race, uh, unlike last week, where I just full sent it and decided, all right, no tests. We're gonna just see what happens. Happens. Uh, I actually did the test for this to make sure the racing's good, so it shouldn't be too egregious. Uh, based on the tests I did, so uh, hopefully that is reflected um, here in the actual race. Likewise, the Auto Club, and see how that ends up going. 40 cars in the field, same as usual. Uh, so having a few guys at the rough start of the season. The uh, champ, uh, quarter pair currently dead last in the standings already. Um, 120 points from the leader. Only 40 points this season. They've had a very poor start to the year. They're going to try to turn it around today. Uh, that's so far not looking too good at the start, but 41 laps, a lot can happen. Hopefully not a lot of wrecks, but a lot can happen. A lot of passes can happen, and it'll be an interesting race, I think. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, uh, Battle to the command. Now, we didn't talk about Eric Monaco, who won at Auto Club. He's currently fourth in standings. Only driver without a win in the top five in standings is Exo, who's the points leader. Everyone else has at least one win. Um, so we really don't have any multi-winners yet. Grant, I'm not surprised at that, seeing really. Uh, this is only the fifth race in, so. Uh, still a lot can happen in the season. they got 35 races. Expect to see some multi-winners for sure. Not sure when, not sure how, but now we will. But uh, regardless, just a few seconds to remain. We're going to go back to our pulse sitter, Ian Styles. Uh, yeah, should be good to go from there. About 10 seconds to the command. Uh, yeah, then that should be all I got to say. And Ian Styles is ready to go here in the 45. Again, 41 laps. Hopefully, we can run most of it under green. Call play from last week. Check our little chat button. Make sure no one's got any mechanical issues. And it's Las Vegas can get real hot real quick. So far, nothing in the chat. Should be good to go green this time. No one's got any mechanical issues to start. Again, 41 laps. Here around this Las Vegas track. And Ian Styles in the latest of the green. Brock Nelson, our old Spice winner. Looked very strong last season. Got a win to Martinsville last season. He even had a decent points run in the playoffs. This season we don't have a playoffs, obviously. As Silas Wilmot 
doesn't quite get the best of starts. Swallowed up by Brock Nelson and Fox Coast are pretty quick as Brock Nelson already challenging for the lead here on lap one. And I do have yellow flags on, so if there is a wreck, I will find out about it pretty quick. But yeah, he's, uh, Brock Nelson from third already leads for lap one. Looking very strong. Oh, going to try to get in front of Pox Cozart there. It's 41 laps, so let's go ahead and check our chat. Looks like uh, I was just hovering over it. Probably a little bit of paranoia. Oh, three wide there in the nine of Kyler Sustre. Another one of those cars who has not been doing well in standings. It's going to hold up that line there a little bit. It's Brock Nelson there in the five. Going to take advantage of that. And that's going to... I think Sustre actually was against his spots enough, though. But uh, Ain Style is currently getting swallowed up by the field right now. As we have a little pull away here up front, is uh, Brandon Nelson going to try to go low here underneath Pox Cozart? We have a Nelson 1 2. Again, they are not related, just two drivers with the same last name and first initial. And yeah, Brock Nelson looking very strong right now for this season. And uh, just to give you an idea, this is not a super speedway setup, however, as this run, run goes on, I do expect to see. The field file out a bit more. And more so that uh, than also spread out more as long as as well as these tires aging and whatnot. We'll see when and if that comes for sure. See Pace and Avery in the 91. Trying to make a move underneath the 17. The 17 was going to try to make a move underneath the 46. Did not uh, prevail there. He's going to go underneath 46. Pace and Avery, 91 for Goforth Motorsports. Currently 12th in the standings for his rookie season. Not doing too bad. Teammate David Don, who got second last week. And he's going to go right underneath that 70. Oh, he's going to almost run underneath that 75. Uh, Azrael Dreamer. And we have Nimrod already making some positions. Going to try to get around that 93. Tufty Terror. Nimrod not doing so well in the standings, despite some strong showings early off in the season. But... I think we're really sleeping on the 75 Azrael Dreamer there. They've actually had a pretty solid year so far, despite not having much to show for it, unfortunately, due to just bad luck at Pocono, despite leading some laps, and some bad luck at old, uh, bad positioning otherwise. It, uh, oh, not a bad start to the season for them. And what is a bad season is a start to the season. It's again, just calling having a great start to the season. He's already trying to get some spots down right now. Getting around Brian Webb and... Tufty Terror, and then you got Matthew Hill behind him. I'm going to try to make a pass for that position as well. I believe that's for uh, 13th. Or no, 30? Oh, 10th, okay. Positioning was very weird there. Did you see some cars move to the top? The 51, your leader, has gotten passed by the 75. Sorry, I missed that. I think the 5 somehow got around him too, but did not prevail. Looks like Pace and Avery. The 91 is going to take the lead. As uh, Ezreal Dreamer's not able to hold it. Brock Nelson to fall back on the top. Alex Sinvidal, the 98. <laughs> it's kind of like conveyor belt, not going to lie. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to be a whole race thing or what, but uh, this is the regular Las Vegas. We have some cars able to go up front, hold that front line for a while. 98 versus 58. Got Jet 07 and the 07. You can try to move it there as well. Two teammates, the six of David Don and the 91 of Pace and Avery as well, trying to, well, I guess they're not really working together at this point, but racing for position in the top five, go forth Motorsports. But Alex and Doodle going to try to lead two laps in a row here. It's a pretty big deal, I guess, at this point, seeing they're kind of racing with conveyor belt. Despite, other than the 51 lead in the first few laps there, he's actually in really good condition to lead most laps led in that 51 car. There's what Jet 64 here. And Cooper, I know darn well they started in the back. Um, I think they started a pole one of these races recently. A uh, little lot of laps at Daytona. Uh, they're already up here in the top five, looks like, getting around Noah Clifton, who's actually had a really good start to the season. We know these uh, Wild Wolf cars, they're very strong in the early of the season. Last season uh, fell off mid-season. The Jerry Frey, Noah Clifton, Ian Stiles all did well. Mid of the season, last season, but unfortunately it fell off mid-season, so we'll see if that trend continues for them as a, to be dead honest with you, you got all three of the K&K &K racing cars trying to come up to the front 
99 and 22, uh, all playoff contenders last year. Uh, Cooper not so much, but Cooper already looking to be the, the fastest on the team at the moment. Jeremy Frey trying to retake that position from the 30. You know, like I said, I didn't really talk about Jeremy Frey much other than his Phoenix win early in the season last se last year. Um, and that hasn't really shown anything of note. Some cars moved to the top. See Chef Squid and Skylar Taylor did go to the top, but Chef Squid trying to go to the bottom and get around Cooper. Uh, Potato Boy has also gone around Cooper, and Space Guy is also on the top. And then you have Ryan Cole on the bottom. Not teammates with him, but Roach Racing entry, or Rare E Racing, rather. And then Wick Rare Racing's uh, Quadruped also teammates with 15 uh, Chef Squid, I believe. They had another entry in this field. I can't remember. Oh, yeah, Nimrod. Uh, we had Nim seen Nimrod up here up front not, not too long ago, so. Interesting thing to note for sure. This Alex and Vittle kind of, uh, call me crazy, this is train racing at Las Vegas. I didn't think I'd see this, to be frankly honest with you. Early in a run, though, 15 laps in out of 41 laps. Uh, I don't really don't want to expect here, but Matthew Hill has been shuffled out, if you would. There's a Jeremy Frey trying to get underneath the six here of David Dawn. And David Don gets shuffled out, it looks like, as uh, the 07 pulls away just a slight bit there, briefly. It's Alex and Vittle, a rookie, leading some laps here. Ooh, going to try to move Jet 64. Not successful. And you start the field really start... I think I'm, st I think we're starting to see that little bit of spread out. A little bit early in this run. Kind of hard to tell for sure. But you definitely have two lines. They're kind of just running single file right now. Figuring out who's going to do what. A little weird for this track, but nonetheless, that's what we're having. And Jet, still a rookie, has a cup win. Actually, two cup wins that 07 has. Not a single Smos win. Crazy to think about. Two CCS wins, not a single Smos win. In fact, hasn't shown anything in Smos. Uh, that would lead to them really being successful, per se. As Jeremy Frey gets shuffled out by Potato Boy, 99. Chef Squid takes advantage. So does Ryan Cole. Is Potato Boy going to try to go for second here? He might pick Potato Boy, if I'm not mistaken. Got two wins last season, the 99. He's going places right now. Chef Squid, he led some laps to Pocono last week. Sleep on him. Don't sleep on him either. Ryan Cole... Did very well at Auto Club. Didn't have much to show for it, but did get a good finish nonetheless. Oh, to finish, I believe, if I remember right. And, oh, I now got a peak low underneath the 98. He's going to make a stick. Potato Boy going to lead some laps here. Granted, not every lap led is going to be a point, but if you lead at least one, you get two points, and if you lead the most, you get ten. First racing by Riley Gorse there and uh, Zig Zagoon. Riley Gorse is actually pretty quick in practice. Not much to note other than that. They're also going to qualify as well. Qualified fourth, if I remember correctly. Chef Squid <laughs> shuffle by the 99. So these guys are getting two points per each of each other. And early in the season, a lot of points, these, all these points count big time. 60 of uh, Ryan Cole. Take advantage of that. And you got Zig Zagoon. Won a couple of races last year, and you got a uh, quadruped, and this is 23, who. Has not led a single lap this season, I don't think. I could be wrong. Is it a very subpar start to this season, despite winning the 2022 Smosh Championship? And Zig Zagoon also going to try to take advantage there on the bottom. They got 324 fan, last week's winner. He's going to try to come up here and lead some laps. Uh, granted, he's not really in great shape of points. He's only in fifth in points. Doesn't really have the, like I said, best start to the season, but he's there now. Let's see if. Uh, Finish should be good enough here for him today, but yeah, it's just Las Vegas. There's still a lot of race, a lot of racing to go, and I don't think it'd be quite conveyor belt like this. But uh, as I said it again, here we are. <laughs> and Zig Zagoon shuffles to the lead. Got two wins last season for Salamander Inc. Salamander Inc's actually been relatively successful here in Smos, and believe it or not, they actually have a. I believe last I checked, they had. The most wins as a team in the CCS, surprisingly enough, despite them not being up front as much as you may think. 
Or at least I don't, anyway. Alright, here they are leading right in front of Cactus King. And Cactus King, a former CCS driver, so... Not eligible for Rookie of the Year. He's gonna dive into the bottom here, gonna try to lead. His first laps, really... 2022. Let's hope uh, Solis Wilmot. Not teammates, by the way. Solis started second. I don't sleep on them either. Probably one of the hot prospects for Rookie of the Year in the 88 car. Yeah, Pace Navery behind that. Oh, he's going to go three wide to turn one, or turn three, rather. He is three wide for the lead. 88, 91, 90, or 91 and uh, 08. They live to see another day. I don't believe Sils gets to lead a lap, though. He was trying to come up here and lead a lap, but unfortunately at 91... He wanted to lead another lap. He already led some laps before. He's going to try to go for most laps led. At this point, it's a tall order. But we'll see how it goes. A couple teammates on the bottom. Roach Rare E Racing. It's uh, Marker Leonard and Craig Packers, our Daytona winner. No, Clifton's found his way back up here. Is the uh, Cactus King still three wide there in the mid pack? Or I'd say mid pack, but a little further down in the top ten. As uh, Zig Zagoon and Silas Wilmot has also found themselves in a little pickle there. And, uh, amidst this, uh, the 46 Creek Packers has taken the lead. Now, Exo, our points leader, going to try to take the lead. The points leader winning a race here would be very interesting, seeing they're the only one in the top five in the standings who hasn't won a race. Granted, only four races so far, a uh, different winner each time, but. Interesting thing, nonetheless. Uh, Exo going to try to come down here and lead some laps. And try to keep that points lead after this race is said and done. Still some three wide there with Zigzagoon. He's still holding a three wide in the middle. No Clifton. Skyler Taylor in the 54. Going to try to go... Take the lead now. Single car operation. That's Team Motorsports. And Nimrod for Wick Rare Racing. Gonna try to come up here and lead some laps. Talking about Nimrod being a, a sly, sly person to watch out for because they've been they've been fast when it when it counts, but uh, unfortunately just haven't had the points to show for it because they've been shuffled out several times. And uh, looks like it's gonna happen again here is Brock and Brandon Nelson. Uh, I was going to pass maybe before uh, Nimrod even gets a chance to lead another lap. And they won't get another chance to lead a lap as Brandon Nelson is going to be able to do it. Tend to go next time by. Very odd racing, I will say, for Las Vegas, but... Here we are. Leonard Jones gets passed by the 17 of uh, Brian, uh, Brian Webb. I'm going to get that right one of these days. But Tottenham, the 71, going to make a very quick decision. It's going underneath him. Melinda backs out. Or might not already have lost that spot nonetheless on the top. But Tottenham, top five of Daytona. Talk about how they uh, have been very empty on the top five spectrum is Brock Nelson. I'm going to be honest, looking to be one of the stronger cars this season already. 24 races in, already have a win, and they're looking very strong for win number two today, if they can keep it going. And Space Guide, and they aggressively move low to try to stop that from happening. And it looks like the pace car has out now. They're under yellow here at Las Vegas. Well, you know what they say. Changes everything, but nonetheless, the two Nelson cars back up front. Take a look and uh, get a replay of what happened for sure. Uh, looks like Silas Wilmot might be involved in the 88. They are the furthest car back in standings. Oh yeah, heavy damage to the 88 is Silas Wilmot. 83, 324 feet in last week's winner. Let's see what happened. Oh, big pile up in the front stretch. Yeah, this is the big one in Vegas. We were talking about how they were pack racing. It looks like it started off with Tufty Terror. Uh, you see Pace and Avery, a little bit of damage to Quadruped, Cooper, who was up front at one point. 
Well, these guys are all gonna have a good day, unfortunately, uh, up in smoke. We'll see how this started. Uh, yeah, it looks like Pace, uh, Cooper came off a of turn two. Pretty hot. Go slow mo here. Right into Pace and Avery and Tufty Terror. Both of them in the wall. Big hit for Sills Wilmot. Nowhere to go. The 91 Pace and Avery in the air a little bit. Nowhere to go for Quadruped. He's trying to avoid. Another big hit for Payson. Tufty's already totaled. Sills Wilmot spins. I believe the 83 got damage. Oh, yeah. Cactus King got some heavy damage there. Ryan Cole gets involved in 83. Uh, 124 fan with some heavy damage as well. Going full speed this here. And yeah, just nowhere for those guys to go. Uh, oh, another hit there. But I don't believe the 23 came back up and hit anybody. Yeah, he went straight down the apron. Unfortunately, uh, their, day is, their day is done, unfortunately. That 23 car. So, race up in smokes for a lot of those guys, unfortunately. Um... Hate to see it, really. But, end of the race, guys. A lot can happen. So, this is crunch time. I'm going to go ahead and pause my game, turn on double fall re or overtime finishes if we need them. Again, we have two Nelsons up front. Batatanha, Space Guide, and then rounding it up our top five is Brian Webb, who's actually been up here. Uh, decently not a lot this race. This race, so interesting to see. Cars out of the race. It's going to be Tufty Terror, Quadruped, Silas Wilmot, second DNF in a row, unfortunately for them. And the 91 of Pace and Avery is out of the race uh, after having a really strong day, I think. After some hit, hard hits there. And then some cars of damage. Be 83, 63, 08, the 30, probably the 15, but they may have came out scot free. Or that, I didn't really notice anyone else got any heavy damage, but. Unfortunate turn of events pretty late in the race here at Las Vegas. We're going to try double five restarts. Brock Nelson needs to keep in mind uh, if he is a car length ahead of the five at the restart, at the start finish line, if there's a car length in between him and the five at the crossing of the start finish line, he's ahead, 51. That is a restart violation, and that will be a black flag. That'll cost him a very good finish. He could very well use here this point could potentially get him the points lead back from last week after an early DN or yeah after an early DNF last week at Pocono set him back quite a few spot uh, quite a few points but not very many spots to be real so we're going green this time 37 to 31 uh, 36 cars still in the field Fortunately, we've had four DNFs so far after that big wreck we had off of four. Got quite a few cars. It took out even more out of contention. Brandon Nelson versus Brock Nelson. The two B Nelsons are not related, not teammates. And the only thing they got in common is that they got a five in their number. We'll watch closely and make sure there's no restart violations again. If there is one, 51 will serve a black flag. Or if there's a yellow, there'll be an EOLL under the next yellow. So regardless, they will lose a ton of spots. Green flag back in the air. Restart is good. Brandon Nelson on the bottom. Early contender for most laps led. Has one cup win in 2021 at Old Spice. He tried to get his first Smos win. But Tottenham, however, knocking on the door looking for his first Smos win, if I'm not mistaken. Was robbed at Indianapolis last season after a strong run there. But Brian Webb on the 17. He hasn't had a, C uh, a Smos win either. He's going to try to go low here. Take it. Also, like to know, uh, note that Railfan Motorsports went winless in Smos last season. Oh, here comes Jeremy Frey in the three. He's going to try to show something for it. 
These guys shuffling right here is going to help that five car pull away. See if that happens. David Don looking for two straight podiums. If he can keep it up there in the top three. So it looks like the top three is just shuffling right now. Driver to driver. See if Zig Zagoon makes a move here. Does not. Makes a move now. On the 0 6. He will. Zig Zagoon. It's where three to go. Or two to go. Yeah, two to go this time by. But Brandon Nelson so far holding the lead. He's got a shuffle in the back. Basically racing for a second now. As they keep shuffling. Coming to the white flag here at Las Vegas. Here comes Zig Zagoon down to the bottom. Pass for the lead late in the race. Zig Zagoon may gonna try to take the win here. He's gonna clear the five car off of two. Here comes Skyler Taylor in the 54. Does he have enough, does Skyler have enough room in the turn three? Oh, they do. Oh, it's gonna be close. 54 versus zero six. Oh, photo finish and go. That was very close. I think Taylor got it by a nose. Skyler Taylor wins Las Vegas by a nose. Let's we'll go back and look at that. That is two photo finishes in five races. That's insane. To the line. Holy moly. Just when I thought the 06 had it, Skyler Taylor had other things in mind. What a finish. That was a close one. Pox Cozart closes in, in third, fourth place. Brock Nelson, or not Brock Nelson, Brandon Nelson, and and uh, again just gone steals the top five out of that. Racing uh, way to finish that. Who was behind Genghis Khan? Curious. Oh, it was uh, Sam Oskin. Interesting. Well, that is about all I got to know. But, uh, yep. Thank you for watching. I uh, don't really got much to say. We, uh, yeah, didn't, I don't know where other, com other comedy series could sh show up, but, uh, nonetheless, thanks for watching. We'll see you cup next race it runs, and I don't know what, what those races are, but we'll see you then.